Hello. This is One Drop Flood V2. Um, so this is a deck I've been working on for a bit, and the point of the deck is to utilize a new card called Pride Lands. Uh, Pride Lands will um, give your characters two more willpower, but most importantly, if you have a prince or king here, make everything that you play cost less. All the characters, rather. And then we're going to use that in combination with Stitch Rockstar. So whenever you play a character, you can exert them to draw a card. And our deck is running a whopping 36 one drops. Um, I think you basically run as many as possible. The only things that aren't one drops, I think, are really important for the deck. Um, we can go through the deck real quick. Um, some notables are Simba, kind of insane. Um, not only is he Prince, he costs one, so you can play him for free to start getting your combo going, um, but he also lets you draw and discard a card, which lets you filter out the uh, bricks in your hand to make them, um, like if you get a two drop when you're going off on your combo, or if you get a your guest or something like that and you can't sing it, going. Um, then we got uh, Cinderella's in here, not a one drop, so it can brick your draws, but I found her to be more useful than hurt. Nice on turn two if you got nothing better to do, and really nice when your combo's going off and you want to filter it out. Um, be Our Guest is really nice to use the fish for what you need. Oftentimes it ends up being ink, but you can sing it with um, your uh, two drop Simba whenever he's at the location, or with your Cinderella's. Of course, um, we've got Stitch in the small Stitch and all the uh, one drops. Um, all the one drops are, of all the uh, one drops that you can run in Amber and Steel, these are the ones I think are the most useful or most impactful. Um, as you can see, we eventually got to the point where I'm just running Akita because I think Akita is better than uh, like a Timon or something like that. Um, having two power when exerted is nice because it makes have to take more damage when they're trading into um, yeah on the side here for the deck you can see I've listed out some uh, tips and tricks and some notes for the combo the general idea is um, your normal combo is going to be on turn three you're going to play a Simba so it could be the protective cub or it could be a Simba turn uh, and then you're also going to be playing a stitch that same turn turn four uh, you're going to be shifting stitch onto your small stitch. Then turn five, you're going to play Pride Lands. You're going to move your Simba to Pride Lands, which costs four total. You'll have one extra. Um, and then you just start playing everything in your hand. You just go absolutely crazy. Um, I've had turn five, I've gotten myself down to eight cards. Uh, before, um, not because I ran out of draw, but because I needed to stop uh, <laughs> drawing cards so I didn't kill myself if my opponent pulled New World or something. You should probably uh, keep that in mind if you're fighting Steel. Um, check your deck and try to stop at like 15, or so that way if they try to play one or two worlds, um, they don't instantly kill you. That's the normal combo. That gets the coal combo off on turn five, which is pretty good. And if your Rockstar Stitch runs into any whole new worlds while you're doing your combo, you get to refill your whole hand and just keep going again. On turn four, you can get the combo off. It's a little bit um, spicier and dicier. Um, one way to do it that I found pretty consistent is you play Pluto on one, play Stitch and Simba Future King on two. And then on turn three, you activate Pluto's ability. Pluto will let you pay one less for the next character, and then you shift in the Rockstar Stitch. Don't exert him, don't do anything with him, you just play him on turn Turn four. Of course, you're going to be playing Pride Lands, you're going to be moving your Simba Future Pride Lands, and then you're going to pop off with your one drops. You don't have any extra uh, ink, so if you run into a brick like a Simba or a Cinderella, um, Nothing you, much you can do about it, but the hopes is that you will eventually draw into a whole new world, and you sing that with your stitch, and you keep going. Another way you can do a turn four uh, combo would be um, if you 
play a um you could play Pluto on one, you could play the location on two, and then you could play um your uh, Simba with activating Pluto's ability and moving Simba to the location on uh, turn three. Um, which then lets you play as many one drops as you want that turn, but I like to keep some in my hand for the next turn because um, turn four you're going to be playing small stitch, big stitch, and then playing your combo. Alternatively, on turn three you can play the small stitch out first, and then on turn four play the big stitch so that way he can be converted to stuff. Um, yeah, that's the general idea. Um, some tips and tricks I also left in the notes section things like. Don't bodyguard your Simba. You just want to keep him alive as long as possible. Don't exert your stitch before the combo turn. Uh, we're not running Lilo, who's uninkable, because we consistency. We don't really need to have characters that gain a lot of lore, because you're going to be questing for like 20 on the turn afterwards. Um, uh, yeah, in your mulligan, you want to keep uh, a Simba, either one, a small stitch, a big stitch, and a pride rock. Can. Um, you can maybe keep a uh, be your guest if you're not you don't have all of those, uh, but never keep a whole new world. Uh, you will you want to draw into that. You don't want it in your opening hand to log that up because God forbid you get a second whole new world. Um, yeah, we're only running 12 uninkables. Ideally, we could bring that down more without Pluto, but I think sometimes Pluto makes our games. Um, it lets us get the combo out when we had some rocky first couple turns and we didn't have right cards to find, but in general, that's it. And uh, let's hop into a demonstration game real quick. Pretty good starting. You just need to find. Not gonna be playing the. Maybe play a stitch. Rather get the stitch out on. That's it. I'll hold on to it. So not much to do here. Turn one we'll play Simba, turn two we'll play Stitchin. So three we'll play the big stitch or pop off. Not necessary, but I'm probably gonna Cinderella. The biggest thing I'm going to be afraid of is them playing swords or whole new world killing me. A lot of stitch. Baby stitch. Play a baby stitch. Another thing that can be annoying is they. Um, a storm rage on or like a baboom. And how much you can do about that? Looks like they have a relatively slow start. So that's good for us. have any rush I'm afraid of anything Thank you. 
time to play our whole hand. I think I'd rather actually have the uh, e mouse more health for. Always draw with the pitch first. Hmm, wanna hold on to that whole new world. I see. Could keep going, but Worth. All right, so we're going to go absolutely. Just got to make sure they can't kill us. Prioritizing the ones that have. Then one can have two attacks. Hold on to a lot of redundancies. Start playing the down to 15. Nothing that can right now. Need at least 15. This is safe. Everything. So. Just hope they can't swords twice. Uh oh. There she blows. I don't know why they keep saying whoops. Haha. <laughs> 